I'm Brad Nessler, joined by the coach, Lee Corso, and the quarterback, Kirk Herbstreet. No complaints about the weather tonight as we see nothing but stars in this contest between the Florida State Seminoles and the Hurricanes of Miami. And here come the Hurricanes. I'll tell you, this one can go either way. Kirk, what do you think will happen today? Florida State has a sensational quarterback on their side who's a true leader. I think his presence on the field gives them a slight advantage. And Lee, I think that's going to be the difference in an extremely close game. There's no question who I'm buying in this one. Start up the war chant, Brad. Welcome back, every man. We are back at it with another video, man. Miami versus Florida State. You can't get better than this, man. It haven't been the same, it arguably, since, you know, the mid-90s, early 2000s. Yo, these teams used to go at it, bro. Y'all Florida State fans and Miami fans know. Bro, they used to go at it, man. Front, uh, uh, Sean Taylor Day catching the interception, you know, returning in the end zone, diving in the end zone, man. That big hit against PK Sam. Yes, I'm, I'm old hit, man. I remember those days, man, especially on my dad's side of the family. You know, it's you either Miami, Florida State, or Florida Gators. Then I fell into that Florida Gators category. And yeah, y'all just go ahead and let me have it, man. It's just, it's just not all year. But Wilson get a sack on Tate Martell. And yes, he's on the Miami Hurricanes. This is the 2019 roster. So he is on the Miami Hurricanes, man. They decided to get his kid a shot. You know what I mean? So um hopefully coming to this game man we won't be sluggish and right here good pass breakup right there but let's check out the penalty <laughs> get that boy showing off that <laughs> let's get it holding on the offense man that's not a good way to start a game man first and 20. now like i was saying man i i yo y'all just go ahead and let me have it <laughs> being no florida man it's definitely right there that should have been a pass caught man and now um person that's out, i believe that was the punter i believe or well, some backup right here and good you know oh look at that man what a way to fight through the block and make that open field tackle three on one that's one hell of a play by the car man third and 21 and yo you just can't <laughs> you can't do it bro look at this tie second in the ncaa man Ty second in the nation with five interceptions already it's early already early in the season bro like, come on. Yo, look at the bunnies. Yo. <laughs> this, this defense is showing out, man. This defense is showing out already. We got a 3-0 lead. Harris takes the hands off up the left side, and he gets a first down. And they got two first downs, man. And we got none. So, it's, you know, offense is struggling. That's nothing new. But we got a 3-zip lead. First and 10. Tate Martell back the pass. And we had good position, bro. He just, yo, <laughs> get throw, good catch. Tate Martell avoids one sack, and he just cannot avoid Wilson. He gets his second sack of the game. But second and 16, man, like I say, you know, um, I'm going to listen to you all as far as, uh, as far as uh, MJ, Malachi Johnson, as far as, you know, he, he definitely will sit out. You know, he's a hot prospect, and there's no, you know, he's, he's just not going to risk it, man. He's just not going to risk his future. It's Tate Martell goes down for yet another sack. That's three for us, man. And they are in the red zone inside the 10-yard line because we muffed the punt, and, you know, obviously they got it. But like I was saying, the plans for Malachi Johnson is right now he's a true sophomore, and he's just going to sit out. Damn, bro. Come on, Jakar. You, you can't be getting blocked like that, but... Uh, he's just going to set our entire dream season, bro. So he's arguably one of the top five, top ten picks in the NFL draft. And, and you know, being in this NCAA content, I mean, you, you just don't want to, you know, risk an injury, man. Risk your future by coming back. You know, some people might say that's a little selfish because, you know, leaving the team. But, you know what I mean? It is what it is. What would you do in that situation? <laughs> you feel me? So... Second half action, man. We up 17 to 3, man. We up by two scores. And right here, take my tail, gets it out. Yo, I don't can't believe we missed that. And Mallory's down the sideline, bro. Nice throw, nice catch. I don't know what happened to Samuel, so hopefully prayers up for him, man. Hopefully he's okay. Take Martell, play action, pass it. Ooh! 
You can't miss those, baby. You cannot miss those. He had one-on-one with Jakari. And if he would have broke that, that definitely would have been six, man. They definitely needed that. A second and 10 right here. Take Martell plenty of time and just, you got to lead a receiver, man. Back-to-back -back plays that I know they wish they would have back. But third and 10 right here. On their own 40. That's what we call the money down. And right here, <laughs> big hit on Harrison. He fumbles it. But unfortunately, it goes out of bounds, man. We go three and out. They go three and out. Second and 10 right here. Take Martell. Nah, yo, let's go. Lighting with the INT trying to take it back to the crib, bro. And Osborne is down. KJ Osborne, bro. That was one head of a play. And this is how he got injured, bro. We was all, no, nah, nah, we was all over that. And Jakar just decided to take Madden to his own hands. And he blocked that dude like, yo, let's go. This is what this rivalry is all about. And right here, he, he, he beat the press, man. But that catch up speed, man. That catch up speed, just one hell of a play, man, by lighting right there. You you just can't. Yo, he got beat, man. That make up speed is something serious, man. As we add another touchdown on the board, and right here, good catch by Thomas as he picks up their first down. They had a little few bright spots here and there, but you know, against this league defense, you, you just gotta you gotta come with it, man. And right here, Jakari gets a sack on Tate Martell, bro. He got a sack, got an INT. Yo, he is balling out this game as well as the entire defense, bro. He came around that corner like a damn a rocket. But third and eight, Tate Martell is panicking. Yo, he gets it out to Wiggins. Yo, sometimes, like, I be holding that turbo button a little too much, man. But 39 from our 41 yard line. Tate Martell decided to take off, and he nearly picks up the first down, but he falls just short, man. But you told the end of the game, man. This game was pretty much in the bag, man. It's Jordan with a nice catch, and that's going to be another three and out. A third and five handoff to Harrison, yo. <laughs> the running game has definitely been none obsolete. Definitely, man. At this point, we going to walk out of here with a W, man. We came in here and just straight smashed the shit out of the Hurricanes, man. 40 to 3. Right here, Williams goes down for a sack, and that is the end of the ball game, man. We came in, we remain undefeated. If we six and all, they go for all the drop the two and three. Man, I appreciate everything that y'all do for me, man. I don't take nothing for granted. You know, every subscriber, I thank you, man. As we closer to that 2K, man. That 2K, y'all know it's coming when I hit that 2K, man. So be on the lookout for that. Man, it's CR8, man. Hold your head up, Tate, man. CR8 until next time, man. I'm gone.